Tasha. Today I'm going to tell you my top 10 books. As I've said in my TMI tag, I love reading a lot. Got the idea for this video from Kat, so thank you Kat. And I wrote them down. I didn't think about my choices for too long, I just kind of went with what came to my head. I didn't want to think about it for too long. So the first book I wrote down, and when I think about my favorite books, this is usually the first one, one of the first ones that comes to my head. Um, it's Fangirl by Rainbow Ro Rowell, is that, is that her name? Anyway, Fangirl, I don't know what it is about this book, it's just, every time I just think about this book I get this warm fuzzy feeling inside of me because I, every t I think about when I read it back then and just oh, I loved it so much. I don't know what it is about it but it's just oh, I can't explain it but it's definitely one of my favorite books if not even my favorite one. Fangirl is just a fiction novel about this girl Kath that is going to college and is just struggling with a few things. Maybe that's why I liked it so much, because I could relate with a few of her problems. The next book I wrote down is Under the Never Sky, and this is more for the whole series. This is like, sometimes I can't decide which book is my favorite one, so I'm just gonna say the Under the Never Sky series, trilogy, whatever. The next book on my list is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. It was heartbreaking, but that just, somehow that just makes me like it even more. I remember reading it in, in one night. I was at my grandma's house reading it overnight and I spent hours just crying myself to sleep. Next book is Every Day. I also talked about this in my TMI tag. It is by David Leviathan. I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Every day is about the pers a person called A, and basically A wakes up in a different body every day, and he has to adjust to the life, and he doesn't know why. It just it's been that way his whole life. One day he falls in love with this girl, but obviously he can't be with her because he wakes up in a different body every day. But I did not expect to like this book as much as I did. To be honest, the ending frustrated me a bit, but you should still read it because it's a very good book. Next on my list is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I think this is a pretty well-known book, but Delirium is also, I think, a dystopian novel. In Delirium, love is seen as a disease. And I honestly don't know what else to say. You can look, up, look it up online. I'm not very good with descriptions. Next on my list is The Hunger Games. Not much to say about this book except that I like it a lot and I like the movies. And it's by Susan Collins. City of Lost Souls is next on my list. It's from the series The Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. It's the fifth book. It's my favorite from the series. What I really like about this particular book is the bad Jace, good Jace, and Clary's struggle about it. Just, I don't know, it's my favorite. Next book is Clockwork Princess, which is the last book from The Infernal Devices, also by Cassandra Clare. And this is just another very heartbreaking book. I remember a lot of crying, lots and lots of crying, and I just, I, I liked the ending to the series. Number nine is Harry Potter, and I'm not gonna try and decide on a favorite book. I just really like all the Harry Potter books. I think everyone knows it. If not, where have you been? And Harry Potter has just been a big part of my childhood and still is. I just love it. I keep rereading the books. Yeah. 
The last book on my list is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Fodder? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Anyways, it's about four boys, four boys that have ruined my life, and this girl called Blue. I honestly don't know what to say about this book except it is great. Also, The Dream Thieves, the second book. I don't even know which one I like better. I like them both. I guess this is another series I just like in general. So that was it. Those were my top 10 books or book series. I guess I cheated a little bit, but there are so many books and I just could not decide on just 10. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, tell me your favorite books 